Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomo T and I am back with a new video. So I made these uh, Suica themed displays. I made the regular version and a spooky version as well. So first, to make the frames, I am taking some two-part resin and I'm pouring it into a one-to-one -one ratio. Next, I'm adding a bit of purple pigment and mixing it in, and this will be for the Halloween themed frame. And I'm going to pour that mixture into our silicone mold and let that cure for 24 hours. I also added a bit of heat to pop the bubbles. For the regular display, I added some yellow pigment and mixed that together and poured that into our mold as well. And after 24 hours have set, I demolded it from the mold. Next, I have these little paper cutouts uh, to size the shapes of the fruit. So starting with the watermelon, I'm taking some light green clay and I'm flattening out to our little template. Next, I'm going to roll out some dark green clay into snakes and we're going to just wrap it around the watermelon. And we're going to slowly flatten that out. And oops, I forgot to add another stripe. Next, I'm giving it a dot eye, a V wink, and a V smile, along with some shine marks. And here we have our finished watermelon. So next we're going to make the pumpkin, which is using the same template. And we're going to flatten that out into kind of an oval shape. Then we're going to take some light orange clay and roll it into a thin snake. I add a little dot for a uh, point of view and I'm adding these little stripes coming out from the little dot. So kind of like a circle on the bottom with a line in the middle and then two little things flying out from the top. Give it some angry eyes. And then tip them upward to make it look angrier. Next, for the smile, we're going to flatten out some yellow clay and cut it out into kind of like a crescent moon shape. And I'm just going to cut out some little squares on the top and the bottom. and place that onto our little pumpkin and curl it upwards, make it a little sinister, and a little brown cylinder for the stem. And here is the pumpkin. So next we're gonna make the honeydew melon, which was kind of annoying because it has this like intricate design. So I have a mixture of clay and liquid clay, and I just kind of Pulled it into little stringies and kind of spread it everywhere. It's not exact, but it's the best I can do. And I added some dot eyes. A little W mouth. And for the stem thing, we're adding a green oval, a little snake, and another little snake on top. And a little white dot on the side for the glare. So for the spooky version, we're going to put some V's for the eyes. And then for the mouth, I took a white piece of clay, made a little peanut, and wrapped it with some green clay. And placed that onto our melon. And gave it the little stem thing. And then of course the glare mark. Next, we're going to make the pineapple. So I'm going to take some yellow clay and flatten it out. Then with the darker yellow clay, we're going to roll it out to thin snakes and make the little pineapple design. And cut off the excess. I added a little green pineapple leaf thing on top. And for the mouth, we're going to take a pentagon shape and wrap it around with brown clay. And we're going to give it some 
line eyes. And then it's happy mouth. For the spooky version, it had some really distressed eyes. So it's kind of like a half circle with um, kind of a really long under eyelash kind of thing. So it had two of those, some lines underneath it, some sad eyebrows, and then a distressed mouth. Next, we're gonna make the little peach, which was very easy. So it's just a pink dot of clay with a little triangular stripe on top and some dot eyes and a happy mouth. And for the spooky version, we're gonna give it some shocked eyes and a shocked mouth. But I think this mouth was a little too big. So let's give it a little smaller shocked mouth. There we go. That looks so much better. For the next one, I think it's a pear, but it's a yellow piece of clay with little yellow dots everywhere. I thought it was a Korean pear, but I don't know what it is. But we're going to give it some light brown eyes. And then kind of a W mouth. And I just made it an open mouth and a little stem on top. For the spooky version, it's a little bit more annoyed. So we have some angry eyes, a very unhappy frown, some frown lines, and then a little stem on top. So the next fruit is an apple. So we're going to take some red clay and flatten it out. Give it some dot eyes, a triangle mouth, and a little stem on top and some shine marks. So some of these fruits don't have spooky versions like the apple and the oranges. So for this orange, we're gonna give it some shine marks and then a little stem of leaf on top and some dark orange eyes and kind of like a stuffed chubby cheek face smile. The next fruit is like another orange, the citrus, but it's a, a tangerine or something. But it's a light orange clay with four little dots on top. And then little dots of orange everywhere. And then some shocked eyes. And a shocked mouth. So for the grapes, we're just going to arrange some purple dots of clay in a certain way. So I made the sides first. Then I stack the middle on top of everything. And I gave it a little green footprint for the leaf and placed our grapes on top. And then two little oval eyes and a little mischievous smile. For the next fruit, we're gonna make a strawberry. So I'm gonna pinch it out into a teardrop shape. And on top, we're gonna give it the little leaf and stem. And I added little dots of yellow clay. And I gave it some half circle eyes and a half circle mouth. And for the final fruit, we have a little cherry. So I have two of them because for some reason cherries have a Halloween version. So one are two sleepy eyes and a dot mouth. And one is like angry half circle eyes and a frown. And I gave it two Mario flags for the stem and leaf. Next, we're going to make the clouds. So I'm taking some light yellow clay and I'm going to pinch it out into, I don't know, like a basic cloud shape. And I'm going to make kind of indents on the side. And then using my tools, I'm just going to soften out those indents. And we're going to give it two dot eyes. Some oval blush and a line smile. For the spooky version, we're going to take some brown clay and we're going to give it a little pitchfork. I did make the pitchfork a little bit too long, so I did cut off the ends and add a little triangles at the tips. 
Then we're just gonna give it a hand, which is a circle wrapped in purple clay. And we're gonna give it some crescent moon eyes, but red. And a mischievous purple smile. And we're gonna make a little fang too. Along with some brown double horns. So here we have the the regular sweet cup fruit and this is my favorite part of the video just seeing them all lined up together so satisfying i just want to stop here honestly and there's just so many fruit i wasn't sure if it was all gonna fit in this one block So I wasn't sure how I wanted it set permanently, so I took some silicone tape instead and I pasted it onto the back of our fruit and then I could just add it to our little display and not have to worry about not liking the arrangement because I could always just take it off and rearrange it again. And honestly, it like barely just fits. Like I could not add another big fruit at all. Maybe some small ones, but not some big ones. And next I add the little cloud on top. So for this one, these are all the spooky fruit. Basically all the big fruits have kind of different expressions and the middle fruits are all the same. I guess the middle fruits already kind of look a little bit distressed, minus like the big orange, but... I still don't understand why cherry has a different expression. Like, it's so hard to tell. Next, I place the fruits into the purple frame. I tried my best to do it as differently as possible, just so it looks different as well. And I add the cloud on top of the frame this time, and I think I like that better than putting it like on the very tip. So here are my two Suica frames, the spooky and the regular. Honestly, I like both of them together because they have different like expressions. So I'm very happy with this project. So thank you all for watching this video, and I missed you all. Hopefully I have more videos for you, and I actually do. So uh, be on the lookout. Thanks for watching.